The difference between the impossible and the possible lies in a man's determination. After a different uh, dramatic, uh, tragic issues in my family, like the, the, when my first, da first daughter died, and um, I start to think in, in a new life where I say to my wife, I think that we need to look for a new life. In 2001, Juan Orozco and his wife Olga left Colombia's tropical climate for Canada's frigid winter. That year saw record snowfalls and bitterly cold temperatures. But weather wasn't their only challenge. Armed with his degree in electrical engineering and over 15 years' experience, Juan was eager to work in his profession. One of the big problems was the language. That one of the barriers is the language. One of Juan's first goals was to get his international engineering education and experience recognized so he could work in Ontario as a professional engineer. Despite his challenges with English, Juan started the PEO licensing process in December 2001. And I said, I know I have problems in English. I have communication barrier, the communication problems, but I'm going to learn, I'm going to defeat this problem or overcome this problem, and that's it. Juan joined the intensive English and employment preparation courses for internationally trained engineers at Skills for Change. For me, it was the more amazing uh, experience in Canada that changed my life and my vision because I get the whole, not only, not only English, it was emotional support that how to try to understand the culture, the job market. At Skills for Change, Juan improved his understanding of occupational terminology and workplace communication skills. After finishing the courses, he landed his first job in Canada as an engineer. He now works for RS&G Commissioning as an electrical commissioning engineer. Enthusiasm. I have nobody that has that kind of enthusiasm here, and that's what we were lacking. I thought, he's got to be an asset to this office. The job of my responsibilities here is to lead the electrical area. I'm leading the area with passion, motivation, professionalism, increasing the quality of the job I'm doing the best to make this company better. Juan's projects include the expansion of the Greater Toronto Airport Terminal 3, the Windsor Casino, and the Ottawa and Credit Valley Hospitals. When uh, I was, I had my first daughter for nine hours in my arms when she died, and in a clinic, in a hospital in my country, and I, during this time, you know, these critical moments, I learned about what a hospital is and what about the whole different equipment inside in the emergency room. Therefore, when I came here and they told me about working hospital, I said, hmm, this is a very good opportunity to get a feedback, the best for in the name of my daughter. In 2005, the Association of Energy Engineers granted Juan the title of Certified Energy Manager, and he received his PEO license, which entitled him to practice as a professional engineer. Almost since Juan arrived in Canada, he's been helping the community. At Skills for Change, he tells other internationally trained engineers how, with determination and hard work, he got his first engineering job. He leads his own mentoring group, helping other immigrants overcome barriers. This year alone, he helped 20 professionals through the engineering licensing process, helping them understand more about Canadian workplace culture, employers' expectations, 
the job search process and encouraging them to reach their full potential. You're going to find in Canada, if you want to be a professional engineer, I am ready to help you. I'm going to give any guidance, any tool, any emotional support you need. I think he has a great future here. Um, everybody here likes him. Um, uh, he's, he performs beyond our expectations, our, our requirements. He's a thinker. Um, he's, um, he's a compassionate man. That's bottom line.